Hello, Lucy. How are you? I am okay. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm tired. Um, I'm relieved it's the evening. <laughs> the best bit of the day because they're they're not necessarily asleep, but they're not here. They're upstairs. Oh, well, um, you know, we've decided to have this chat and share this chat because we're both attempting to do this amazing global music match thing whilst raising wild, amazing, noisy, brilliant kids. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, timing is the word, right? So you're, you're featured artist week one. Uh, who's featuring you what countries have you got what's happening yeah so um in my group i've got someone from iceland norway canada australia and finland um Whoa. is there anyone else yeah so i am um, i've done i've done four interviews so far and i've got one more to go and um i'm also trying to put together a little video -y thing to introduce the fact that it's me as the first artist um, having had no experience of uh, editing videos whatsoever um, yeah. so it's been quite yeah quite a sort of manic week really compared yeah. to all of the other weeks of 2020 <laughs> he's so right yeah. Because I don't know about you, but I, I just never, well, I suppose none of us did. It's a, it's a world first global music match. I just didn't anticipate that I would even have any work until Christmas and have resigned myself to just, you know, gently ticking away at yeah. home. And now I feel like I've been thrown in the deep end. <laughs> you know, in this time where we've been forced to be separate and away from our folk community, Mm -hmm. I'm really loving the to just connect with artists but also like so often in any industry I feel like we're sort of coached to think that we're each other's competition Absolutely. or you know there's only a finite amount of gigs or whatever and look at how they're doing it I wish I knew how well, global music match is actually kind of oh, putting the power in artists hands to share that information with each other right and and it's yeah. not a competition, is it? We're all, you know, particularly in the folk world, we grow up together and, you know, we're going to grow old together and it really shouldn't be, it really shouldn't be in any way competitive. But I think prior to lockdown, the kind of the nature of gigs was that, you know, it was all about sharing, sharing, sharing and everything felt quite saturated and full on and... Uh, yeah just a lot of work and like you say it's been lovely to to be able to feel like you know we're doing something that's re reciprocal and it's for the good of everybody it's not yeah. a kind of self-promotion thing yeah yeah actually that that is exactly it yeah. I'm feeling so jazzed to introduce all of these other artists to not have to think like how on earth do I make my like toy strewn house and messy bun be like you know, <laughs> palatable to the audience that are writing yeah. out there on the interwebs i can just shout about this wicked artist and absolutely and it's really interesting isn't it it's fascinating stuff and i think if i were an audience i would love to be recommended new music because um yeah you want to be pointed in the right direction and um yeah, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the music I'm learning about. 